Hello friends, in this video we are going to see routing in AngularJS. Now in this video we are going to cover what is routing in AngularJS, how routing works, what are its components, what are the key features and things to remember while implementing routing and a practical demo in which we are going to implement routing for a simple application. Now let's start. Routing helps in dividing our application in logical views and buying different views to controllers. Now why you read routing? Now routing helps us dividing a single page application into multiple views. As we add more and more logic to an app, it grows and soon become difficult to manage. Dividing it into multiple views and using routing to load different parts of app helps in logically dividing app and make it more manageable. So basically routing helps you manage your application into various partial views and to each partial views a separate controller can be associated. So instead of having entire logic on a single page you can have logic present on a different partial views and based on the routes defined you can render those partial views in your application. Now we have come up with a small diagram for better understanding. Now this diagram shows how route looks and how these routes are associated with the views and the controller. Now on the left hand side this is a route so routing demo.html slash home is a route. Now to this route the when we define this route we have, we have associated home.html and home controller. So what happens AngularJS finds that to this route the home.html is associated so basically it renders this home.html as a part of the page and it also uses home controller for the model of the HTML. So this is how AngularJS defines route and uses partials and controller to render the view. We'll see in the demo application how it works. Now the two main parts in achieving routing are defining the route using route provider and rendering multiple partial views using ng-view directive. We will see each of these in, in coming time and we will focus majorly on the first part from above that is defining routes using route provider. And the next question or next thing coming into your mind is what is route provider? A route provider is a service provider which is responsible for handling routing in AngularJS. Now it is basically a service which is provided by the AngularJS itself and you have to specify it as a dependency and AngularJS will resolve this dependency for you and then you can use its method to create route in your application and this service make it easy to wire up controller partials and the current url in the browser now how to add route now once we have our app declared we can use config method to configure the route provider and then route provider provides method like when and otherwise which can be used to define the route things to keep in mind along with angular.js file we also need to refer angular-route.js for routing and we need to load the ng route module in our app. Now ng route module is very important for routing so we have to load or we have to specify it as a dependency in our app definition otherwise the routing will not work. Now render rendering multiple views. Now we can make use of directive ng view to render multiple views based on route configured. Now ng view basically creates a placeholder and based on the route the AngularJS renders a partial from the partial folder and uses its associated controller. Now we request you to watch other videos in the playlist for better understanding. Now let's start with the demo application. Now we have a simple AngularJS single page application wherein we have routing demo.html which is the sole HTML page as of now and we are following a modular structure wherein we have app.js so in the app.js we are defining our module and the module name is routing demo app and we are also specifying our dependency currently we have only single dependency that is routing demo app.controllers now this routing demo app.controller is defined in controller.js and is responsible for creation of all the controllers so when the angular.js app loads this module is called as a part of the dependency and it creates a my controller controller for your AngularJS app. Now inside this controller, I am setting a message property to the scope object with this is home controller. Now let me 
change this message this is my controller for now and coming to the view and in the HTML page we are referring angular.min.js we have referring app.js and controller.js the JS files we need and then we are connecting this HTML page or the body tag of this HTML page to our modular app that is routing demo app using ng app directive so it basically connects the angular app and the body or the HTML page and we are using ng controller to connect my controller to the stiff and inside the stiff we are rendering the message using expressions so if you see this view let me refresh it so you can see this is my controller message is being rendered now to this application we are going to create or we are going to implement a routing functionality so in order to implement routing functionality we are going to have three partial views that is home about and contact similarly for these three partial views we are going to have three different controllers then we are going to define the routing logic in the app.js and finally we will create a placeholder using ngview directive so let's start now in order to start or in order to uh, implement routing we need to first refer this angular route.min.js in our view so that it facilitates routing in our angular.js app now let's start with the controller now currently I have a single controller but I want three controllers so let me rename this so the first controller is home controller and I'll say my text is this is home controller similarly I'm going to have two more controllers and the name of controllers would be about controller and contact controller let me update their message as well so our first step is done now the, our second step is to create the partials now I have a partial folder here so inside this partial folder I'm going to add three HTML pages so let me add one and I'm going to name it as home I'm going to remove all the markup from default markup from this HTML page and I'm only going to have a header tag which will say home and I'm going to render the message set in the controller using the expression I'm going to have two more views on the same lines and my second view is about.html and it will have a header tag and the message similarly the third view would be contact.html and it will also have a header tag displaying contact and the message now our view is also done now the third part comes is defining the routing logic now the second point we remember is we have to in order to work with routing we have to specify the routing module that is ng route to our app so in order to do that we have to specify ng route in our dependency so this will facilitate routing in our application now we are going to use config function so inside this config function we are going to specify route provider as the dependency so that it will resolve this service and we are going to pass a function and to this function the angular.js will pass the object of route provider service and inside this we are going to use the route provider object we are going to use its when function so the first route we are going to define is the default route so you specify default route using slash and then we are going to specify two properties here the first one is the template URL the template URL is, is the path of the view you want to render when that route is default route so it is basically partial slash home.html so let me check the folder name yes 
and second property is the name of the controller you want to associate with the partial so name of my controller is home controller so this is the first route that is the default route now I need to have two more routes so the second route would be slash is my default route and slash about and when it is slash about then I'm going to render about.html I'm going to use controller similarly when the route is about slash contact I'm going to render contact.html using contact controller now our routing logic is also defined now let's come to the last point that is defining the placeholder in order to define the placeholder we don't have to specify a particular controller here so we will remove this we'll also remove this part because that would be handled by routing and when the partial view will be rendered and here we are we just have to specify ng view so this will create a placeholder for us so what happens the angular js inspects the route so basically it checks the route definition it finds associated template and it picks a template it picks the data from the associated controller and it renders inside this div so let's refresh our page and you'll see the home page here if I change the route to about you can see about and if I change it to contact so it will render contact if I specify something which is not registered then it is showing me black blank screen so that can be handled using otherwise function so using otherwise function you are going to say if the route is not matching to any of the above then uh, redirect to to my default route this is how you specify that when none of the above is matching with the route then you re redirect to the default route so how this works is so if I type anything here which is not registered with the angular js app then it automatically redirects me to the default route that is home page now let's navigate to the different views using using the anchor tags so let me go to my home page that is default route and here I'm going to specify two anchor tags so the default route is specified using hash and this is my route for about to go to the about page similarly I'm going to have slash contact for my contact page now similarly in both of these views I am going to add link to go back to home page that is our default route so we, we specify default route using hash symbol similarly we will paste the same thing in contact.html as well now if I refresh my page you can see two links so if I click on about it will redirect me to about and if I click on home it will get me back now you can see if I click on current contact the page is not refreshing or reloading but the URL is being changing and if I click on home again it will redirect me to the home page so this is how routing works in a simple application and uh, let me summarize the things so in order to implement routing in your application you need to have angular route.win.js then you need to register ngroute module or you have to specify it as a dependency in your app declaration then you need to have you need to define the routing criteria or, or you need to define the routes and the final part is to have a placeholder which will be achieved using ngview so once you cover all these things you can easily implement routing in your application 
so this is all about routing in angular js i hope you like this video